Everybody's looking for the fountain of youth. Our next guest may have found it. Dr. Steve Graham joins us to talk about, well, I guess it's, it's been mislabeled, right? That's correct. Uh, uh, and it's been talked about as longevity, but it's actually just about increasing the quality of your life now, right? Exactly right. Increasing the quality of your present life and perhaps increasing your total lifespan. Okay, let's go back here. Explain to us, uh, there's four hormones that uh, we produce and they begin to, we begin to lose the production of these slowly as we age, right? Right, well for men and for premenopausal women, we start out with the highest level of testosterone, okay. DHEA, growth hormone, uh, and the, uh, in our 20s. Right. And every year since our 20s approximately, we lose a certain percentage of thyroid growth hormone, DHEA, and testosterone. And by the time people generally in their 30s and 40s begin to notice things in their body and the way they feel that we generally attribute to normal aging right. that don't necessarily need to occur as part of normal aging that are correlated with that decreased level of hormone. Okay, and, and so what is it that you found out? There, there are some products now that can actually help us to replenish these you know, diminished levels of these hormones, right? Right. We, what we want to do is return our testosterone levels, our thyroid levels, our DHEA and growth hormone to the high end of the normal range by using bioidentical hormones. We don't want to use anything synthetic. We use testosterone, DHEA, growth hormone and right. thyroid that are all natural, not synthetic. Okay, and, and so you're not promising that these are gonna make you live to your 400 years old, just that when you're 40 or 50, you might actually start to feel again like you're 22. 60 and 70. Wow, mm -hmm. into 60 and 70. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, you uh, told me a story during the break about the fact that you're into mixed martial arts. That's right. And you noticed uh, when you got to be around 50, uh, your performance in the gym was declining. Yes. You started doing this with, your, with yourself, and suddenly you're at, fighting the 23-year-olds. Right. At 53, and uh, I take great pride in uh, handling very well 18 to 35 year olds. Okay, and tell us again what it's called officially? Hormone optimization, not hormone abuse as people think, you know, they think testosterone, they think uh, anabolic steroids like right. bodybuilders, that's dangerous. Right. We're talking about things that actually make you more healthy as well as feeling and looking much better. Hormone optimization, there you go.